depression. We are headed back, my friends, to a state and a nation where the rich and powerful dominate us, where they rule, a land in which our Supreme Court has said that there are no limits on the monies that the rich and powerful can spend in elections. And there are no limits, and this is so important, and Natalie touched on it, there are no limits on the corporate devices that they can use to hide their identities. Now in the aftermath of Citizens United, we have seen secrecy flourish. Newly minted corporations set up specifically to act as fronts for anonymous donations to be spent in the election cycle, pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into state and federal elections with no accountability as to the sources of the money. That should scare us all. Donors are now allowed to hide behind a veil of secrecy just as the KKK used to use their hoods and masks to hide their identities when they were up to their dirty work. Just as bank robbers in the bank lobby have masks over their faces to hide their identity, so too today's wealthy individuals from here and abroad are using masks in the form of the super, pack, the super PACs and newly formed corporations, thanks to Citizens United, to hide their millions that are coming in to influence our Congress. And the Citizens United decision, ladies and gentlemen, says that's okay. We've got to change that. It's time for us to speak out now against these outrages to speak out with one voice. It's time for us to channel our passion for this into action, citizens' action. And we have a vehicle for this. We, we the people, must persuade our state legislature to pass the resolution that would overturn the effects of Citizens United and restore accountability and fairness to our elections process. The time is now for West Virginians to get in front of this new wave of citizen action to bring about fairness and to try to reverse the rule of the rich and the powerful and the secrecy that's enabled all this. We the people of West Virginia need to take this cause to the nation and we need to start right here in the legislature. It has to begin right here today right now. Thank you. That was very inspiring. Thank you so much. Our next speaker is Dale Lee, President of the West Virginia Education Association. election, campaign expenditures become more and more outrageous. Corporations are becoming the biggest spenders and influencers on messages. Fortunately, recent polls show that a public distaste for corporations overwhelming the election process with their influence. The issue of corporate campaign spending brings us together to capital today. Seven states and more than 300 cities have already passed resolutions calling to overturn Citizens United. West Virginia should do the same thing. It's time to get big money out of elections. The Citizens United... The Citizens United decision distorts the election process, swaying power to corporations and giving businesses a louder voice than individual citizens. Now their voice drowns out those of educators, school service professionals, and the working class Americans, and that has to end. We must work together to turn around the impact on, of corporate spending on elections. 
Corporations are not people and should not enjoy the same rights that you and I do. When the Constitution says, we the people, it does not say, we the corporations, we the people. <laughs> the drafters of the Bill of Rights certainly did not envision a corporation needing protection. It's we the people. Providing a legally created entity with the same rights as people comes at the expense of public interest. Cases such as United Citizens or Citizens United only promotes profits and advances policies for the good of corporations with little consideration for the well-being of our citizens. We're here today to take a stand and to work together to stop corporations from buying elections. The current system needs reform. Citizens United opened a spending floodgate that needs to be dammed. We ask the legislature to pass the resolution calling for a constitutional amendment to address the United States Supreme Court's disastrous Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission ruling. It is time for us, the people, to take a stand. Thank you.
when its constituent members believe laws are being bought and sold. This speaks to a national one and a state trend specifically. We have poor voter performance. That means we have a lot of registered voters, but they don't go out and vote. And they feel that it won't make a difference. They understand or have an idea that money will sway politics. And it takes away from the integrity of what a democracy is supposed to be. Corporations already have an unfair advantage. They hold captive audience meetings where they pay people to listen to the propaganda. And then at those meetings, they threaten their jobs with the election of certain officials or parties. They hold the purse strings over their head. And this further exacerbates that advantage that corporations have over the political process. So we call for this legislative action and resolution and call on the United States Congress uh, to support amendment overturning Citizens United. This, this resolution alone won't give the integrity back to democracy, but it's a first step and a right step. Thank you very much.